So Alchemist and Earl Sweatshirt got Voyer Dyer, Voyer Deer. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, yeah. Now that's my cup of tea. Yup, I like that joint. That joint was hard. Uh, Alchemist, I think probably might be the most like hardworking, like the most consistent producer we've seen in a good a good a good while he didn't he's been making albums out f- for boldy james earl of course freaking alfredo with uh freddie gibbs um the one joint with freddie and currency he'd have made joints for action bronson he'd have made joints for so many like a lot of your like underground esque type rappers, but like he has that natural sound that's like really grimy, very theatrical. He takes a lot of samples from like movies and like pretty much anything for real, for real. But I, is this the album that they said they hit on YouTube? I think that's the one. I'm not sure. But um, I ain't gonna hold you. I've been bumping this. This is the perfect length for me. 11 joints. I'm in there. You can listen to it all day. You can't get you don't get tired of it. It's got a good amount of replay value. Uh 100 High Street is dope. Uh Century, I love that joint. Century has got like Heat Check has got like um what is it? Man, Kylo Events has got I ain't going to hold you, man. I really like all of the songs. I like all of the songs. Free the Ruler is dope. Like, all of them is cold, bro. I dig it. Like, I like this type of rap, like, hip-hop better than, like, what everybody's been listening to recently, like, like Drake or whatnot. Like, everybody loves that nigga, man. Like, he can do no wrong. Like, that nigga can put out of him just crying and niggas will be like, bro, it's the... Anyway, yeah. Alchemist is one of my favorite producers. Uh... He knows, like, he, 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 you know, he's, like, sample-based. You know what I mean? I'm a sample-based producer myself. So, he's, he's a like, the way he chops his stuff is really cool. This album was, like, I don't know. I guess, I guess, like, the new, I wouldn't say new, but the popular thing for Underground Cats is, like, loops. Which, there's nothing wrong with it if you use loops the right way. I'm, I'm a big stickler when it comes to, like, how to produce. And, I mean, not how, but, like. The, the certain art forms of production when it comes to chopping samples and stuff i'm a stickler about that but like if if it's warranted and if it sounds good we in there um of course earl was going in he was rapping i really like the vince staple features they're really cool um he's getting you know diving deep into his bags about like you know his life and himself and stuff like that um i like the mic feature on century that's really dope i think it was a good album i like it um like i said a lot of people like maybe i don't i don't know like if you're really just into the mainstream rap you will probably think it's a boring album because it's like really it's like this is like for the niggas who just want to sit down you know smoke a joint and chill i guess and just like, you know, spaz out over rhymes. Like hip hop heads. You know what I mean? But it's a dope album to me, in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. This is my type of joint. Um Earl be rapping like he tired, but he be saying some wild stuff, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> so yeah. If you're into like the type of like this underground sound that's been going on lately, like with your alchemists and your conductors and your rock marcianos and your derringers and your mad libs and stuff like that you should definitely my bad that's the homie you should definitely give this album a try like certainly it's pretty dope but yeah that's all i got to say i'm out